Hello ladies and gentlemen and today we're going to be talking about uh, Provia aspect windows. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Okay so let's have a look at the interior of the window and we have here beautiful design lock and two side locks. So what's interesting about this window once it's locked you cannot even see this lock from the outside when you look like this as a top sash uh, frame it actually covers that lock. So the lock, this lock is made of aluminum and the side lock is made of vinyl. The window has standard night latches, so you can open like that. With the push of a finger. Same thing on this side and now you can open a couple of inches at the bottom. Or you can do the same at the top. Once you don't need this night latches, you just push them in like this. And uh, now you can operate the, uh, the bottom sash all the way to the top. So this uh, stop, the sash stops, they kind of uh, don't look very nice on the window, but uh, keep in mind that in here you're gonna have uh, blinds. Okay, so now let's check out the insulation of the window. So let's pull in, tilt in the bottom sash. Let's do the same with the top sash and uh, this is a double hung window so we can tilt in both sashes for easy cleaning just like that so when we look at the weather stripping uh, which is here on the sides of the top sash and the bottom sash so we have a triple weather stripping pretty much thick so that's a very good sign then on the top sash we have another layer of the weather stripping right here when we look at the glass of the window, so it's a little bit tinted, kind of like sunglasses. So it has low E and ergon gas, and it's an energy stock qualified window. So it can be installed in northeastern uh, US. Okay, so we have the bottom sash tilted in. And when you look right here, there is like a little groove from there to here. And another air lip right here, which once we uh, lock the bottom sash, and push it down this little lip goes inside the bottom sash and prevents any air leaks and insects crawling inside the house because that's how those little things get inside the house through the bottom seal but uh, the only thing it would be nicer if this uh, air lip would be all the way through from here and to here on the bottom sash of the on the bottom frame of the window then another thing here we have this cutout for the water so it's a sloped seal about 20, de 20 degrees so all the water is going to flow away from the house never goes inside the window and that's why there is no need for the whip holes so it's going to be nice and dry in the inside the window and in the house and the window is a fusion welded Okay, so let's check it out the exterior of the window as well. So that's how it looks on the outside. And it comes standard with a half screen, which um, if you like prefer to ventilate from the top of the window by opening the top sash, you can move it to the top. Or once you're done, you just move it all the way down. And the screen is made from roll formed aluminum. So which is still, I mean, um, some people say that uh, extruded aluminum is better and all that, but the screen is the screen, it stays here as long as you have mesh in good shape, you don't have to worry about anything. The outside, you can see this uh, screen channel right here, which sticks out to the outside one inch and a quarter. So, I don't know, it kind of, uh, definitely these two sashes, they have much more beefier, they are much more beefier than um, the entry level Provia Echo Light, but uh, still I think those rounded exteriors uh, would look much better. So when we have here a window cut, so we can um, measure, take the measurement of uh, what's the total thickness of the frame and the sash, and it looks like around three inches, which is bigger than uh, Provia Echo Light windows. But you know this this window is definitely is a beefier one than the, uh, the entry level, and the glass chamber here, 
and the glass chamber is three quarters of an inch thick as well and it's going to be filled with ergon gas low e on this side and this window has warm edge spacer which is this thing right here that's uh, the rubber piece between the two glass panes so what's uh, what's good about this flexible rubber spacer is that uh, does not contract and expand too much and this way the glass is not gonna the, the glass seal is not gonna be broken and there's gonna be no condensation between the two glass panes balance covers right here are standard as well so without the balance covers we would we would see this uh, channel which is uh, not a good thing because all kind of spider web dirt is gonna get inside here and it's pre almost impossible to clean it so let's see how it's gonna look like when we close the sash so basically the sash is locked now and you have this open balance channel but we do have this nice balance covers here so pretty much nice and easy to lock them in like this here we go and uh the window looks like one solid piece now let's see how easy it is to remove the sash you know the bottom sash let's say so in this window it's a constant force balance system which is right here so let me see actually with the problem with this constant force balance system that is not so easy so but anyway it's possible to do it you just wiggle it a little bit and to pull it back that sash you just do the same now you have to again wiggle a little bit and put it back so not the easiest one that uh, we ever did on this uh, channel but still it's doable okay let's check out these joints right here so that's a fusion welded window and that's where two um, frames of the sash put together under high temperature and we get these joints unfortunately that's a vinyl window and that's what happens with vinyl windows let's check it out the thickness of the frame which is three and a quarter and uh, that's what uh, most of the vinyl replacement windows have okay so let's uh, make a conclusion about this window um what do you think about it so personally myself energy efficiency wise i think it's going to be energy efficient window with uh, high performance low e glass and all the triple insulation around the sashes both top and the bottom one it's going to do a job you know so and design wise uh, on the interior those two top pieces for those uh, balance replacement covers you know they kind of look a little bit too big to me even though they might be uh can be covered by the blinds but still i would definitely eliminate that and uh, on the outside the exterior channel is a little bit more bulky you know and honestly i like the exterior of the provia echo light window which is an entry level window than this one but um anyway that's what it is and uh yeah i mean uh performance wise to remove the sash it's a little bit complicated as well so but again who's gonna do that like many many times quite often or anything like that so uh so anyway it depends what kind of goals you're trying to achieve uh when you replace your windows would you prefer to have energy efficiency over style and looks then definitely it's a good window to go without any questions uh otherwise you may uh look around as well okay here we go one final look uh, of the interior of the window from the top to the bottom and that's the exterior look of the window from the top to the bottom here we go and you know what let's do the sides as well right here on the side look Pleasure as always, thank you for watching.